Welcome, 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 welcome along to the shoutier segment on Irish Radio. It's the scintillating, it's the stupefying, it's the splendido crappy quiz. Every Friday, we pit three of team off the ball up against each other in a no holds barred quiz of sporting factoids at the end of the week. Allow me to welcome today's contestants. I'm going to be straight up to everybody at home. This is the second time I'm doing these intros, so they were funnier the first time. You've missed out on a really good conversation about Willie Big Bang Casey versus uh, Rigondo. Uh, you will never get that back, but maybe one day we'll dip back in. We'll see how giving our first contestant is to his intro, though. Our first contestant is the Floyd Mayweather of the crappy quiz. He shows up, he jabs away with unrivaled knowledge, he gets the win, and he goes home. Undefeated with a 1-0 record in 2021, it is Phil the Power Egan. How are you doing? Is there any boxer you feel like, Adrian, when you come up against uh, Phil the Power? Well, um, funny you should mention that, because I often feel like Willie Big Bang Casey to Phil's Guillermo Rigando. Insert candle laughter here. <laughs> Our next contestant today has been lambasted for coming up short in every single quiz he's partaken in this year. Little did the people in our YouTube comments know that this is a former champ, 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 looking to recapture that 2019 form. It's Adrian Big Bang Barry. It's been a lean 18 months on 2021, not been good to me. You're going to get the win today, predicting it. Our last contestant today is sickened that Michael D. Higgins is hogging all the headlines for his new puppy this week when this man has a brand new puppy of his own who he's been using to mine many, many Instagram likes. Give it up for the meat hillbilly, Tommy Rooney. Miss Nook looks really gorgeous, so I'm not sickened by Michael D. Higgins getting a new puppy. Uh, it looks like a gorgeous pup. And uh, yeah, Bailey's been uh, all over Instagram. He's not ready for his off-the-ball debut yet. Why not? Uh... We're still kind of working on a few tricks and a few uh, a few techniques, and he's just not he's not up to scratch yet when it comes to um, broadcasting live on the air. People need to check out Tommy on Instagram to see this puppy. As you mentioned, it's called Bailey. Is it cuter than Mishnock? Is the question? Um, probably smarter. Oh, like he, he's an incredibly intelligent pup. Um, probably wittier. He's, you know, he's he's good crack. He likes his football as well. I don't know Mishnock from Adam apart from the, the photo. Oh, but but, You've just called the president's dog stupid and unintelligent uh, re here this morning, Tommy. So that is a big blow for Michael D. Higgins, who I'm sure is uh, with us in the audience this morning. As ever, the format is a classic crappy quiz with a series of questions on different themes. Then it's on to the slip and slide of trivia, the rapid fire round. You can podcast the crappy quiz on otbsports.com or the OTB Sports app. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to click the thumbs up, even if we contribute nothing but misery to your day. Round one is the boring questions round, never multiple choice. Phil, Mick McCarthy has been a revelation in the dugout at Cardiff City, but can you tell me which club McCarthy has managed in more games than any other? Soft question. Uh, Ipswich. Is he right, Tommy? I would have gone with Wolves, but probably is Ipswich, so. <laughs> <laughs> it is Ipswich. No, it is Ipswich. Correct, Phil. Soft question that he didn't even know the answer to. <laughs> question one. No, I'm saying, it's soft. I'm saying it's soft for Phil. It's, it's, I'm not saying it's soft for me. You know, I get a tough question. I'm saying a soft for Phil. He started it already. He started it already. Unbelievable. Adrian, who is the tallest player in the Ireland rugby squad? Dev. In the Ireland rugby Ireland rugby squad, so that obviously doesn't include Devon Toner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it must be... I mean, I don't know what you mean by the Ireland rugby squad. That's that's part of my, part of my difficulty here. What do you mean? Do you mean the squad, the, the squad from the Italy game, the Six Nations squad this year? For the squad from the Italy game? No, the Six in, Nations in the, squad this the, year. Because this year's that's squad. that's suddenly now like it's so James Ryan, Ryan Baird, Devon Toner, right? So like Jojo, I don't know what squad Jojo, you're talking about. Yeah, Devin, Devin Toner Hold hasn't been. Devin Toner's not in the Ireland squad. He's not. He's not. Jojo, not in wait till he gives an answer. Don't be hitting that buzzer. Wait till he gives an answer. So it could be like James Ryan or Ryan Baird. Um, you're cheating, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> um, I'm just trying to think if there's any other. It's not Henderson. No, it's got to be one of them. And I think that. Uh, James Ryan is a giant, but I think that Ryan Baird is a very, very tall gentleman, so I'm going to go with him. Ryan Baird. No. It is James Ryan. Ah, oh, damn it! Uh, it's James Ryan. Just, There's not much evidence, is there? That was unlucky, Adrian. Straw poll. Who thinks Luke Shaw is six foot one? He's not really in this call, I wouldn't have thought. He's not I do. six foot one. No. I do. He's six foot one. He's, he's not six foot one. Everywhere. Premier League website. 
uh, Wikipedia, which cited the Premier League website. Um, yeah, so one source has it wrong, and then they're all copying him. He's six one, lads. He just he is not six one, Tommy. Look at team. He is. You know he's not six one. You wouldn't have brought this up if you thought he was actually six one. You wouldn't bring. The, he's not six one. I still buy this for the last few years. I'm sticking with Luke Shaw being six one. He's a small six one, but he's six one. Yeah, a small six one, as in five eleven. Uh, James Ryan is six foot eight. Ryan Baird is six foot six, and there are a host of oh, wow. other players who are six foot six as well. Wow. Where, so, where's uh, Ian Henderson? Because I always think of Ian Henderson. You can only call him Big Ian Henderson. Yeah, six six. six. Five. Six, Ooh, six. Six, six. A lot of six six rugby players. Uh, James Ryan wow. stands at six foot eight. Tommy, Larry McCarthy had his first outing as GEA president last weekend. But can he tell me who the first GEA president was? Uh, Michael Cusack. It's not Michael Cusack. Hogan. It's, uh, no. One uh, more. Davin. Davin, there you go. Mark Davin, <laughs> correct. It was I was just working be... my way through the sands there. Hill 16 was next. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't. Okay, I didn't say Douglas De Hida, because that's the first thing that came to my head. Uh, round two is uh, you knew you know you'd know you went to an Irish school referring to him um, by that name. We, we were always given Douglas Hyde. Where is that coming? Does that put him as a Westbridge? Maybe it does. Uh, round two is uh, the officiating round. Uh, after a week when Messrs. Gozair, Mason, and Atwell all tried to outdo each other in the refereeing stakes, this round will test your knowledge on some of the most infamous referees and refereeing moments. Phil, Graham Pohl famously showed three yellow cards in a World Cup match involving which teams? Uh, Croatia and Australia. Correct. Phil is two from two. Oh, the, narrative, the narrative is back. The narrative is back. Give Phil the easy questions. Adrian. Copy quiz, quiz master always needs one dominant force. Adrian, a porcelain bust of which referee once famously sat in the bathroom urinal of a bar called Cowboy in Queenstown, New Zealand? I've no idea what the, I've, had, I've either not heard or forgotten the story. <laughs> Can I have that question once more, please, <laughs> Quizmaster? A porcelain bust of which referee once famously sat in the bathroom urinal of a bar called Cowboy in Queenstown, New Zealand? Like, there's a big part of me that wants to say Steve Walsh, but I'm going to go with, uh, if, it, if it's not Steve Walsh, I'm going to go with, um, I mean, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Nigel Owens. No, oh, it's not Nigel Owens. Anyone know? No. N no one knows. It's Wayne Barnes. So this ba bathroom had a porcelain bust of Wayne Barnes and of um, Stephen Jones, the rugby writer as well. Uh, the New Zealand rugby fans She's weren't enamored by them. I do believe it's gone now, and it's replaced by somebody else who I've just forgotten at this moment in time. Tommy, question two for you. Who refereed the Henri handball game? I know the answer to this. Damn it. Uh, Swedish... Uh... Oh my God! There was that piece on him last year where he went oh. to the village where he's from. That's so annoying. Uh, you were at that game, Adrian, weren't you? Yeah, that is. That, it's also. I also uh, contacted the man afterwards and had a bit of an exchange with him to see if he'd come on, but no, no dice. Did he show you oh, hey, Joe, Jojo, 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 don't hit the buzzer here. Uh, I'm trying to. <laughs> no. Oh, hello, oh. Bailey. Hello. No, oh, no, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Bailey, Bailey comes in with the answer. Right yeah. Tagged onto his Oh, my God. That's a cute <laughs> puppy. It's a very, very oh. cute puppy. Great right. deflection uh, okay. tactics. How are you? Back, back to the quiz. There you go, Thank you, Bailey. You know, uh, you know she first tagged the answer onto his collar <laughs> and just sort of wandered him into screen. That though. would be genius. <laughs> that would be pretty smart. Um, <laughs> Jojo, I'm not like giving an answer here. I'm just no, give your answer. Give your answer. You're out of time. Ah, thank you. Anyway, excuse me. Um... I know he's a left back with Blackburn. Martin Olson. Oh, he was close. close. He Martin was close. Hansen. Martin Hansen. Ah! Don't shout close. I knew I was close. I knew I was you close. You misread the oh. tag when it came in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, round three. Uh, to to recap. Chance. Tommy and Adrian have yet to get a point. Phil is on two points. This is looking ominous, folks. Hey, Not going to lie. I told you. I told you he was a smart dog. He just opened the door there. I don't know how he did that. <laughs> Probably trying to say, get out, Tommy. Yeah, but it's all Martin Olsen rather than Martin Hansen, mm. so not that smart. 
round three is the greatest Irish shows on earth round. After a week in which we have brought the world to a standstill with our national ambition to bring the 2030 World Cup to every nook and cranny of Ireland, this round will test your knowledge in the previous times the eyes of the sporting world have been firmly fixated on this island. Phil, the Women's Rugby World Cup took place in Ireland in 2017. In what stadium did the final take place? Was it? Ooh, I'm this is an see. answer now. I'm trying to think now. Right. I'm going to go for Donnybrook. No, it wasn't Raven Donnybrook. Hill? Raven Hill. Wow. No. Adrian is flying with other people's questions today. It just, it just didn't <laughs> suit you. Didn't suit Kingspan you. Kingspan Stadium, we should say. Adrian, yeah. question three for you. Michael Lina broke Irish hearts in Lansdowne Road in the 1991 World Cup with his last minute try in a quarter final against Ireland. Who scored the Ireland try that looked oh, for a while as if it might be the winner? What? Oh, this would have been absolute banker for Adrian Barry. Rugby nostalgia. Look at that All Blacks Munster poster over your shoulder. <laughs> Think of that Leinster tweet. George. Possibly the greatest side George. of all time. Was that an answer? An inkling of an answer. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for yeah. some uh, terrible, terrible language from the host of Friday's OTB AM. Oh, Jesus, as you started to as you started to ask the question, his name came into my mind. Now I can't think of it. God, this looks um, tough, Adrian. I can't um, believe I can an remember Martin. Martin Hansen's name. I'm right with George, haven't I? Haven't I? <laughs> um, Come on, give us an answer. This is this is this is has the potential to be the most annoying question for me of all time. People at home are screaming at their radios, Adrian. Know the Everybody answer. knows it. Everybody remembers 1991. Come on, give us an answer. Oh, give me a clue. Give me a clue. No, give us an answer. <laughs> Give me a clue. The you two know it. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. Oh, oh Hanson. Gordon. Hanson. <laughs> oh, where is this information suddenly coming to you? Like one of the kids. From one of the kids just put a note under the door. Come on. Come on, Adrian. TikTok. <laughs> five. Gordon four. Hamilton. Four. Is Khan in there? What did he say? Gordon Hamilton. Correct. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. 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 Whoa, yes. Wait a wow, second. I've never Wait a second. Yes. Did that really happen? I've, yeah, I've never seen someone oh, give out an wow. answer from nowhere. That name, honestly, honestly, lads, you, you, you can't, I, you, you wouldn't believe, if I didn't get that right, I'd have been, I probably would have done Tommy on it and taken my ear bit out and just left the quiz. Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't blame you. Gordon Hamilton <laughs> scored a try that day for Ireland. Tommy. Well done. Well done, Adrian. As a Meath man, Tommy, you were proud of the province of Leinster getting the Ryder Cup in 2006. Can you name the three Irish golfers who played that weekend? Um, McDowell. Incorrect straight away. Oh my God. <laughs> Clark, Harrington and McGinley. Yeah. Correct. Oh Adrian my Barry God. nailing Tommy's questions once again. <laughs> yeah, McGinley, Harrington, Clark were the three golfers who played. Obviously I would have got the other two. Clark. An unusual starting place, Tommy, I, I, yeah. I, I would offer. Um, I'm going to make some change of public knowledge right now. Tommy won't thank you for it, but we were having our post-show meeting uh, an hour ago, and uh, Tommy was like, who's on the quiz this morning? And usually, of course, Ger or Nathan would be on it, and I was like, it's uh, Phil and Adrian. And Tommy was like, God, I'm going to win today. <laughs> of course, currently, are Tommy zero, Adrian one, Phil two. Round four. All about the narrative, Owen. Yeah, I definitely match that. Up around. <laughs> what is he even on about? Contestants get three points for getting the number exactly right in this round. If just, no one manages before, that, then yours. Go on. Just before we go, just before we go on. Yes, lads, I did say that. I was psyching myself up. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look, I, 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 I take no offense. Yeah. No, I'm letting no myself offense. down here in a in a very public setting. Um. So. I would have uh, been surprised if you didn't say that. I'd been disgusted with you. But I apologize. Contestants. Oh, sorry. Get three points for getting the number exactly right if no one manages that. The nearest contestant who doesn't go bust gets two points and the second closest gets one point. We can only accept the answer that's written on your paper and I'm also going to have to ask for your pens once the music ends. So if you don't mind, give us the following number. 
the number of consecutive games Manchester City have now won in all competitions, plus the number of tries scored by Will Connors in this year's Six Nations so far, plus the number of gold medals Michael Phelps has won at the Olympics, plus the number of venues used in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Your 30 seconds expire Ooh. when Sinatra sings Bright Shiny Beads. So, how many games have Man City now won in all competitions consecutively? How many tries has Will Connor scored in this year's Six Nations? How many gold medals did Michael Phelps win at the Olympics? And how many stadiums were used in the last football world cup? Add those all up, and what do you get? Pens down. Adrian. Phil is first. Adrian. for one. I've got for 41. 41. 41. 30. 30. Tommy? Ah, uh, I went with 39. Phil gets two points. Tommy gets one point. You're all ah. well under the number. The number is 58. Um, what? Yeah, let's go, let's go through these. So, the number of consecutive games Manchester City have now won in all competitions? 21. 21. 21. The number of tries scored by Will Connors this year is Six Nations? Two. Three. Two. Two, yeah. Two. The, so the, number, the, first two, right? the number of gold medals won by Michael Oscar. Phelps at yeah, the Olympics. 30, 36. 36. No, it's 23. <laughs> um, and oh. the number of venues used in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. You must, you must have got one of these questions, Sammy, wildly wrong. <laughs> well, I got that one wrong. I said nine medals for Phelps, like a dope. Oh, right. And uh, there was 12 <laughs> venues used at the 2018 FIFA World Cup. You thought that all up. You got to 58. Oh. Yeah. Phil, that brings you to four points. Uh, Adrian, Adrian, you're on one point, and Tommy, you're on one point. You're both lagging behind Phil here with three points. By three points. Uh, Phil, you you sure on 31 that you gave the first time, was it? No, it's 41. I have it there. 21, 2. I completely went under on Phelps because I couldn't think. Uh, I, said, I'm not I went under, yeah. yeah I went we under move on that. to the final. Our winner tonight will be decided in the round that separates the men from the boys, the Wolfsburgs from the Wolfsburgers. It's an old theme, a particular ridiculously easy rapid fire round. The score you get in this round will be added to the score in the previous round. There will be 40 seconds there for everyone to answer from the same set of questions. We're going to start with the person with the highest number of points. That is you, Phil. Then onto the person in second. We tossed the coin earlier. It is Tommy. And then... Ah, really? last, you see, which is his guff. Really? His guff. That's what results. That's this narrative guff. That's what's happened there. Last minute, referees got swayed. It's like, what was his name? <laughs> talking about... Uh, Niall Quinn talking about Roy Keane swaying the referee in that, that United City game. Gives it a bit of this. Bullshit. Yeah. You know what? I I back you uh, to like, recover like, from Adrian, this, Adrian. Adrian, it's Phil. Like you gotta get them all right. It's true. We won't know it, man. Yeah. If What's you get a question, score? just out of interest. Four one one. If you get a question correct, I will keep asking you questions until you get one wrong, and then once you get one wrong, I move on to the next person. And your incorrect answer means a deduction of one point. Phil Egan, best are look, you ready? Let's look for. Let's yeah. look. Your forty seconds starts now. In what year did Pele play in his first World Cup? Nineteen fifty eight. Correct. J.J. Watt has signed for which NFL team? Uh, Denver Broncos? No, Arizona Cardinals. Name the French rugby head coach, Tommy. Galtier. Galtier, correct. Louise Quinn plays for which club? Fiorentina. Correct. Florentina. In what year will yeah. the next women, Women's World Cup take place? Uh, 2020. Rugby. Oh, rugby? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, 2021. Two. No, 2022. It, it, in what yeah, cha in what, which championship club are known as the Terriers, Adrian? I didn't even hear that. Which championship club are known as the Terriers? Correct. Uh, I need another uh, question was, there. That's, 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 that's a joke. Current... That's a joke. <laughs> it you is a joke. You, kept you completely no threw me. Well, you threw me with the world. It doesn't football. make any difference. We'll, we'll, we'll freeze on that. We'll freeze on that on because at least I finished second this way and I can catch Phil unless you unless you want to give me two more questions because he was actually. I think I need two more questions because. He was uh, guffing on, and I, I got cut off there, and you were about to start another one. So I think there's Adrian, two more coming. Who is the current All-Star Hurler of the Year? Am I getting another one after this? Yes. Okay. Um... No, hold on a second. Before Adrian answers that question... No, 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 no. Do you not admit on, that you messed up that question? Like, clearly, we did a piece this week, yesterday, with Louise Galvin, on the Rugby World Cup in 2021 being moved to 2022. But you're yeah, completely true. 2021. I said 2022 in the next breath. You completely uh, yeah, you got to take your first answer. I said 2021 first. Adrian, come on. Limerick midfielder, um, 
three. Not a, he's two, not a midfielder, by the way. Da, it's Darren or Damien. Darrow Tegarty. Darrow Tegarty. What's the next question? What, what, what next? Doesn't matter. We're saving the next question for next week because it's been such a disaster uh, from your perspective again, Tommy, cutting in on Adrian. I feel sorry for you. But Phil Egan, like, uh, let's get the music for Phil because this is happening once again. What was the score? Uh, the, their score was four. Two, two. Uh, so there was actually a tie for second place. Actually, four, one, two, because you got the Grote Hegarty question wrong, Adrian. So, Tommy, you came yeah, second, four, Adrian. Two, you two, two, on, whatever. Bit, yeah, whatever information you want. <laughs> take it away, Phil. What do you have to say? Okay, it's about efficiency. It wasn't the, the greatest performance, but it was a scrappy one. A scrappy one, and just kind of, you got to pick your fight. So, I could be back in a few weeks. Who knows? I have to talk to my promoter. He is 2 and 0 oh for 2021. Phil, the Power Egan is your champ, champ. We'll see you next week.